Hey guys, Nate from Mighty here, just dropping in to record a quick tutorial based on a request we got from our community. Um, someone in our community asked about creating a persistent resource button that would open a resource library that could be used throughout taking a RISE course. And there's actually a pretty easy way to do this inside of Mighty. So I thought I would drop in here and quickly show you guys how to do that. All right, so just jumping into Rise here, you can see I'm in my course. Um, this is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial. It really doesn't take much to make this work. We're gonna do it by setting up a Google Drive folder, which I've already dropped some AI generated images and then just a sample document in. So you really just need to have a Drive folder and then you need to go into that Drive folder and make sure that your share settings are set to public. So anyone that has this link is able to access it. It has to be public in order to make this uh, accessible and work properly. So I've got my files, I've got my drive folder, and I've got my permissions set correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and say done here. And then I'm gonna jump back over into my RISE course. And we're gonna use the custom code feature inside of Mighty. So if you go into the theme area, and you go into the custom code section right here. You can see in this custom code block, I'm going to grab just a, a really simple function that I actually had generated for me using ChatGPT. And I had to make a couple corrections to it, but it was pretty close. So I'm gonna grab this function, which is gonna create a new button inside of this course. Um, and I'll walk you through that real quick. So it's just a quick function to add button. So here's my button and the styles for my button, the modal that's gonna pop up when you press the button and it's basic styling, what the content styling inside the modal is, uh, quick close button, gonna create the iframe that's gonna pull in that drive folder that you set up, as you can see here. And the one thing that you'll have to change with this snippet is you're gonna have to put in your folder ID right here inside of this code. So inside of the iframe, under the iframe source, you'll see this drive link and you're gonna need to replace where it says your folder ID with the actual ID of the folder. So if we jump back over to my folder that I set up with the public permissions, I'm just gonna grab that ID and I'm gonna cut and paste that in here. So I'm gonna replace just the section that says your folder ID. You'll stop at the um, hashtag here where it's gonna go into grid. That's just setting it in a grid mode for the, the view of what's gonna be in the modal. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that ID in here. So now I have that updated. And then you can just see a couple more things here around what's gonna happen when I click on the modal and things like that. And then last but not least, I just need to call my function. So. I've got this really pretty simple function that's gonna create a button. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that. All right, so I ran the code. You can now see I have a new button in my course that just says resources. Again, you can change what you title that right here. I have an intertext option. You can just go in and make a change to that if you want it to say something different than resources. You can change the style, the location, all of those things by just playing around with some of these styles that are being generated through this JavaScript. But essentially, I'm just gonna click on the resources and you'll see here, it is pulling up a view of my drive folder. So really it's that simple. You go into custom code, you drop in the function, you make sure that your folder has public settings. And from here, I can jump right into my resource library. And this will be persistent through the whole course. So. If I click one here, you'll see it'll just open in a new link, this image that I had generated. Uh, again, just using AI. And I can close that and I can go back in here or I can open up a document. This is just a testing document that I created, but it gives you an idea of how you can have a persistent uh, resource library throughout your whole course. So you'll see like as I'm scrolling through my course, this button's still here. Um, I could go into preview mode and save this and go into preview mode. So if I go out, out of the theme section and I run a preview on this, the resource button. 
So now I'm actually going through the course. I can click begin. And you'll see just persistent through the whole course. I'm able to get back in here and access any resources. And you can style this modal differently. It doesn't have to be a grid view like this, but just for this tutorial, I thought this gave you a pretty good setup for how to do it. Oh, and one more thing, um, the code that I use right here inside of the theme custom code option is also available in CodePen. So I will drop this link inside the description of this video so you guys can go in and grab it. And again, you can just kind of make any changes or play with any of these style options um, that are there. And the other thing that I'd say is if you want to try this in a different uh, repository, document repository, instead of using Drive, maybe your organization doesn't allow Drive, um, join our Maestro community and uh, go ahead and shoot me a message. And I'd be happy to take a look at other options for Dropbox or SharePoint or some of the other ones that you guys might use. But this gives you a pretty good start to get going and creating your uh, resource library. So thanks, guys.